So it's Labor Day weekend, it's Saturday, my husband's at work today, and I'm gonna spend the day just like cleaning the RV. Um, we've been living in it now for two months um, since our house is being redone this time around, and I'm 31 weeks pregnant right now. Very pregnant, like, I don't know if you can see, but big baby bump. Um, so, gonna clean. But the main thing I need to do today is our refrigerator and freezer are uh, frosty to say the least, and kind of a mess. Um, you know, we both <laughs> we both work full time, um, living in our tiny camper, and also dealing with our house remodel, and dealing with pregnancy, and dealing with everything. So things get messy very quickly, and um, we let our fridge get out of hand a little bit. But today I'll show you how we clean it, and hopefully it'll stay this way until we can move back into our house in a month. All right, this is what our fridge looks like right now, but you can see that is icy, so much ice. Everything that goes on top kind of freezes, um, and then we've got just this whole, whole big mess going on in here. It, it just needs to be cleaned. And then here is our door, and lots of condiments, lots of random things. But I'm um, going to do a big reorganization today and get this all taken care of. And then our freezer, it's not as bad. Well, the frost isn't as bad, the messiness is bad, but um, I'm going to clean this out today too. and. Hopefully, um, this won't take me too long. Also, you may be wondering what I'm gonna use. Um, my travel hair dryer. Yeah, it's it'll work. It'll take some time. Um, it's the best tool I have to do this right now. Um, I'm also gonna put the fan on it. We have a, a tornado fan and um, use a little bit of just like the air right now. It's about 75 degrees, so. Um, it will take a little bit longer if you have a better device to dry it out it might work but um, I've used it before it works it just it's gonna take a little bit longer than if you had a real device to do it so the very first thing I suggest clean a space for yourself um, clean off your countertop clean off your table if you have a cooler bring it inside put it like on the bench or something so you can put food in it I'm not gonna use a cooler but um, get yourself ready because all the food needs to go somewhere for a little bit Right, so as you can see this is a mess but part of the reason it's a mess we probably have it too cool so this little this white thing right here if you put it all the way up it's max if you put it down it's warmer we do have it in the middle it is frozen it's frozen shot right now like it's not movable so um, I'm going to defrost this a bit and then move that down and just kind of take it off to kind of help me um, as soon as it is not in there. Um, I'm also probably gonna use like a knife or something to help get some of this frost off. We'll see what works. Okay, so I feel like I'm at a pretty good spot now where most of the ice is melted, so I'm gonna start cleaning, and then by the time I'm done cleaning, hopefully most of that ice will be gone. If not, I'll take the hair dryer to it again. When I clean the fridge, I take everything out that I can to put it in the sink, and then I wipe down the fridge. So I'm gonna take everything out right now, except my sink is full with the drawers. I need to wash those, so I'm just gonna put them on the table for now. So I did my once over with Dawn Power Wash, but then I'm gonna wait till everything kind of melts, take everything out, and then use um, Clorox bleach as well. I just have like the spray bleach, just to make sure everything's really cleaned out, especially since our thermometer has like a little bit of mold on it, it looks like, so I'm gonna make sure that that's super clean as well. So I'm gonna wait for everything to kind of drip and finish, and then I will clean some more.
all of the ice is out. It is out. Um, so I'm going to clean the drip tray, clean everything in here, um, get this very, very clean, and then start putting everything back in. So I actually just use bathroom Clorox Ultra Foamer. Um, maybe it doesn't have bleach. I don't know, but this is just what I use. Or I'll use Barkeeper's Friend. We're actually out of it, so this is what's happening today. Fridge light went off, probably because I sprayed the sensor. Hopefully, yeah, there it's back on. It just didn't like spray on it. One more wet, just to get all the soap off. And then I feel pretty good about the refrigerator. So I think this is something that people don't necessarily know, or it's not intuitive. Um, this little contraption, along with this, is how you control the temperature in your refrigerator. So this little plastic piece, the big part holds your temperature gauge, and the little part clips onto this first, um, whatever those are called. So you move it up, it's colder, down it's warmer. We usually keep it about the middle. So I just basically pop the little thermometer thing in the middle there, kind of push it up, bring this through and clip it on. And now you can move it up or down, up or down. So we're gonna put it like right there. And hopefully our refrigerator won't All right, now that everything's clean, I'm putting the trays back in. Oh, maybe I should do it correctly. And now it's time to put all of the food back in and uh, figure out how it's all gonna fit. Now that this is put together, I get to do the freezer. Yay! Okay, hopefully with the freezer being much smaller, this isn't gonna take as much time. So, everything out. Top of all the water. Alright, that actually works pretty well. I'm gonna do one more paper towel and then I'm gonna clean. Alright, feeling pretty good about this right now. And now it's Time to clean. So again, I'm just going to use my Clorox bathroom cleaner and just do a quick once over, just to give it a nice clean. And 
Okay, and voila, oh, it's all clean. All right, well, that was fun. Um, all in all, I think it took me like an hour and 20 minutes or so, um, but everything's clean. Normally, like I said, I would use Barkeeper's Friend as my cleaner, but we're out of it, and I would have like better Scott's towels, but um, I don't, and this is what I had today, and I didn't want to go to the store. But it's clean, it's defrosted, everything's good, and um, now to clean the rest of the RV.